Hey guys, what's up? It's Christy and I just wanted to do a super quick video and show you how I use Google Search Console to figure out which keywords I want to target in my blog posts and on my site. So in this example, I'm going to show you my website Melasma Diaries, which is my brand new website. I started it about two months ago and I am relying heavily on Google Search to drive traffic to the site because it's fairly niche and I just think that Google is going to be my best friend here. So now that you've seen the site, let me take you into Google Search Console and you can get there by going to google.com backslash webmasters backslash tools. And so let me scroll down and I'm going to manage my property here. Okay, so this gives you a quick dashboard sort of snapshot about what's going on your site. And you can see recently I've had some tremendous results from Google search. So to keep up that momentum, I'm going to do a little bit of research and to do that I click on search traffic and then search analytics then I click on impressions click through rate and position now as I scroll down this will give me an idea of the keywords or the search phrases that people are putting into Google and finding my website so in the first column it tells me how many clicks I've gotten from this keyword how many impressions, which means how many times my website has shown up in search for this keyword. Then the click-through rate is 12.85%, and my average position for this keyword is 9.9. .9. So, as you probably know by now, you want to be on the first page of Google. So what I do is I sort my keywords by impressions, because this means the more impression a keyword has, means the more times people are searching it. So you really want to start ranking for the keywords that people are already searching. So as you can see, the biggest impression was for best sunscreen for melasma and I look over and I'm already in the top 10. So that's great, it could be better, but it's not my primary concern right now. Same thing for best foundation, I'm 9.3, I'm fine. Brook Brook melasma, I'm 8.8, .8, I'm fine. Melasma, 66.8 so I have a lot of work to do to start ranking for melasma but guess what that is a hard keyword to rank for because it's just one word and there are millions of pages on the internet about melasma so I'm better off going for the longer tail keywords so let me move down here the one I'm most excited about is melasma makeup so several of the posts I have on my website currently are about different makeups that you can use to cover melasma so for melasma makeup I've had zero clicks but 53 impressions which means people are searching for this but guess what my position is 17 so no wonder no one's clicking on my website I'm on the second page of Google so melasma makeup is a keyword phrase that I am going to start targeting on my blog through internal linking and through new blog posts so next up let me find another one here's another one best makeup to cover melasma I'm at place 20 and there was 44 impressions so here's another keyword phrase that I'm going to target so as you can see I can go down this list and I first look to see which keywords have the most impressions then I look at my position and I want to be in the top 10 if I'm not in the top 10 then I need to focus my content to target those keywords as you can see I've been doing this method for a little while now and it's starting to pay off the number of clicks I'm getting from Google is totally increasing and I could not be more happy so I hope this was helpful thank you for listening